Good morning, I'm Tom from Ledgemere. Today we're gonna to go over castrating young bulls. And it's, it's not really graphic, there's no blood, um, but if you're a little squeamish, you might wanna skip this video. Um, but we're gonna castrate Roscoe this morning and give him his CDT shot. A lot of you will question, why do we castrate bulls? And the reason we do that is to temper their temper. You've got uh, a herd of cows, and so you've got these bulls, and they will try to establish a pecking order. Um, so bull, bulls will always uh, try to reassert dominance. So even if you've got, they're always fighting, essentially. When you've got uh, a bull who has de been determined that he's higher up on the pecking order, there'll always be other bulls trying to reassert dominance. So there's gonna be constant fighting. That can cause harm to your animals. If you've got uh, heifers, you know, that aren't ready to be bred, you could get, um, you know, they could be bred prematurely. Uh, you've got, say you've got genes that you don't want in the breeding pool, you've got that problem. Uh, and finally, the, the temper of the bull, where he's trying to reassert dominance, he's gonna assert that dominance on you, the person, as well, because they don't realize uh, where you are in that pecking order, so they're going to try to assert dominance over you. And, and whereas when you've castrated that bull, they are more docile and less likely to try to assert dominance. And so once once they've determined the pecking order, uh, that's pretty much how it remains. The final reason that uh, in America we, we castrate our bulls is because as consumers and, and um, you know eaters of meat, we, we prefer the taste of, of uh, steer meat over bull meat. I, I guess in, in Italy and some other countries, they, they prefer the wildness, you know, flavor of a bull. But here in America, we have grown accustomed to the taste of uh, a steer. And so we use this device here, it's called an elastrator, and these little rubber bands here. Now I've got two sizes. I've got a, a larger size that uses a larger band and then the smaller one. And so what happens is you take these little green elastics here and you put it over the, the prongs like that. And then I'll, I'll test it a couple times to make sure it's not gonna snap on me. And so what I'll do then is I'll hold it up under the animal like this and I'll open it up and squeeze his testicles so the testicles will come down through the bottom. Once, once I've got both of them down here, you close the elastrator and then you kind of reach in and and pull this out and so the elastic remains above the testicles and then what happens is it cuts off the circulation the blood circulations the testicles will shrivel up and, and eventually fall off it's bloodless it does cause a little bit of pain um, so sometimes we do give some NSAIDs uh, like an aspirin or um, meloxicam or something like that to, to try to you know um, ease the discomfort. Within a day or so, they're back on their feet and, and back to business. The thing that we do here, uh, and most most farms will do it also when they castrate, is they'll give a CDT shot, which is, uh, it's a three part shot, but the T is the tetanus. And so we don't want to introduce tetanus to the animal and then invite the possibility of losing that animal. So. Um, tetanus vaccines are really inexpensive, and I understand a lot of people don't want to vaccinate, um, but to me it's a cheap insurance policy, and I don't want to lose animals, so we're going to vaccinate our animals here. Then I've got my, my CDT vaccine. I'm going to give 5 cc of this. My syringe needle. I try to use the smallest needles possible. Uh, so this one's 18. They go down to 16, I guess, uh, which you'd use for a bigger cow, and then 22 I use for lambs. So an 18 is a good size. And then I have my six milliliter syringe, and they come in all different sizes. I've got some threes, some twelves. Uh, I didn't have any fives, so I'm gonna use a six this morning, which is good because I can actually draw on a little bit more and then clear the needle. So as you can see what I'm doing right now, I've, I've got him sequestered and I'm going to pull the testicles down through the band and then remove the bander. And then, so the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give him his CDT vaccine. So I'm going to back him up into the corner. This is easier if you have two people, um, but I'm going to go ahead and administer that vaccine now. So I hope this video has been beneficial to you today. 
and I really appreciate you watching. We'll talk to you next time. Thanks and have a great day.